we're gonna go with the double wide sleeping pad today or tonight. Yeah, normally this thing will quit taking air once it's full. I think I'm about there. I just wanted to be able to sprawl out. Yeah, that's that's full. Ready to go. I didn't bring a whole lot of stuff. Very minimal. This is normally how I camp. I'm not filming. We're trying to make a video. Just as simple as I can. Sometimes it's just nice to uh, not have any chores or any tasks that you want to get done. Just enjoy the nature. Be an excellent chill spot for the night. Let's see what's in this bad boy. Window nets. Or my pistol, pistol. Fire starters, dehydrated meal. Little water. Hot. And some lights. I messed up. This is pretty much how I plan on cooking everything, which ain't a lot, and it'll be fine. As far as the baked potato goes, fails big time. That's how I boil, I'll boil water. That's what I got to cook with. So, and this is my only fire I'm gonna have tonight because it ain't too cold. But basically, I'm camping. I gotta have a fire, even if it ain't to keep me warm. So, that's what we got.
Went ahead and hung up some lights. It's gonna be getting dark for too long. Just noticed something pretty alarming. This tree, pretty, it's kind of looking like it's trying to split. And if that's the case, it's gonna be directly in path to my truck, where I'll be sleeping. I may be moving my truck. I think this spot is just about as good as it gets without the concern of being crushed in the middle of the night that tree was definitely alarming alarming once I noticed the split in between them probably ain't gonna go nowhere but if it can be avoided I always try this is nice just being in the woods it's just a very simple overnight trip. Don't get much better than this. I'm hoping it gets a little bit cooler. It could be. I was hoping it would be a little cooler. But yeah. And I've been busy moving the truck around, moving my chair, restringing the lights. So. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. I think I got it set up about how I want it. Got the truck up against the woods. I'm looking out into, well, across the campsite and into the woods. Also, supposed to be some northern lights again tonight, which is very rare for being here in Kentucky. So, I got a little shot of the sky. I'm hoping if they're noticeable, I can see them. coals to cook now. Let's see what happens. So good. Mm. 
those solo stoves are awesome, but they burn up wood way too fast. And the bigger ones that are tall, unless you're standing over top of them, you can't feel no heat radiating off the side of them. I'm not a big fan of them, to be honest. I just bought that little one to be able to put underneath a tarp if it was to be raining. Just to kind of keep some heat underneath of a tarp in the wintertime. I've yet to got, uh, I've yet to use it that way. So hopefully this winter I'll get out for a couple of rainy trips and uh, see if that theory actually works. But I'm going to be busier than the son of a bitch trying to keep that thing going. As little pieces as it requires. As fast as it burns through it. They definitely work. Well, it's been a pretty peaceful night. I cut up some little short rounds to feed this thing. <clears throat> Probably won't cook a baked potato. That thing's burning up wood just way too fast. There's no way I'll be able to cook a baked potato on that thing. <clears throat> it's pretty much good for just boiling water or cooking some beef stew or something. But anyway, I'm going to sit here and join me a black and mild. Listen to the crickets, wait for it to get pitch black, and then I'm going to crawl up in uh, the blazer here and probably end this video right here because when I get up, I'm going to have to rush and go straight to work. It's a work night, so I think I'll catch you guys in the next one.